Let's mod an old 3DS. We're going to use the mset9 method on 3DS hacks.guide, which is compatible with all of these old 3DS systems. Now, it does seem like this will work on a new 3DS as well. That said, there's an easier method for it. Check out my other video on the subject. You're going to need an old 3DS on one of the compatible firmware versions, an SD card, and a way to read the SD card, and either a computer running any of the major operating systems with Python installed, or an Android device or a Chromebook. I'm going to cover the Android method, which needs an Android device running Android 6.0 or later, which I'm going to use this Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra for. I'm also going to use a Windows computer to set up the SD card. First, we're going to go to Rufus.ie, and we're going to download the tool, and we'll plug the SD card in the computer. And if this is a brand new SD card, we're going to go ahead and select it here. We're going to select non-bootable, set it to MBR, set a cluster size of 64 if it's 128 gigabytes, otherwise set 32, and make sure it's at FAT32. And then we'll run the tool. Next, we're going to put the SD card back into the 3DS, and we're going to open up the Mi Maker. After we've opened up the Mi Maker, we can now exit out of it, and we're going to power off the system. On our Android device, we're going to go to the Google Play Store, and we're going to download the MSET9 installer, as well as Archiver. We're going to take the SD card out of the 3DS, and we're going to plug it into the Android device. And on the Android device, we're going to download the latest version of the MSET9 release. Then we're going to open up Archiver. We're going to go to our download directory, and we're going to open up the release zip. And we're going to select Extract to Archive Name. Then we're going to have this release folder. We're going to open it. Then we're going to select all of these files as such. Then we're going to press and hold and press copy. Now on the left side, you should see a USB flash drive. That's going to be our SD card. And we're going to look on the lower right hand corner and we're going to press this to paste all the files. Now we're going to open up the MSET9 installer. We'll press select 3DS folder. We're going to press the three bars at the top here and we're going to select the SD card. Inside of the SD card, we're going to find the Nintendo 3DS folder. We're going to select it and we're going to press use this folder. If you can't find the dummy title, database, go ahead and press yes so it'll create it for you. And if it fails to do so, just go ahead and follow these instructions here to where you can create the database. And since I do have to do this troubleshooting, I'm going to go to data management, I'm going to select Nintendo 3DS, I'm going to press software, and then it's going to have reset. Hey cool, it fixed it. Now that we see this is highlighted, we are not going to activate it quite yet. With the SD back in the 3DS, we're going to hover over the settings icon using the D-pad, and we're going to power off the console. Then we'll turn the system back on, we're going to press A to open up the system settings, we're going to go to data management, 3DS, and extra data. And without touching any buttons or the touch screen, we're going to remove the SD card and put it back into the Android device. Now we're going to leave the system on over here and we're going to move back over to the Android device. We're going to see setup MSET 9 and we're going to select it. We're going to select the 3DS model that corresponds to our system and I'm working on the 3DS XL, so I'm going to select that. It's going to ask us what our firmware version is. Mine is 11.17, so I'm going to select that. And once it's complete, we're going to remove the SD card and put it back into the 3DS. So I'm going to put the SD card back back into the 3DS here, and it's going to boot the exploit. Then we're going to put in the button combo that it shows on the top screen, and when it's done, we're going to press A to reboot the console. Then it's going to boot into Luma 3DS, we're going to press Start and A. Then we're going to power off the 3DS, and we're going to put the SD card back in the Android device. And back on the Android device, we're going to press Remove MSET 9. Then we're going to go to the written guide that we have in the video description, and we're going to download these two files here. We're going to copy the finalized ROM FS, and we're going to put it on the root of the SD card. Then we're going to copy the X finalize helper. Then in the SD card, we're going to go to the Luma folder. If you don't already have a payloads folder, press the plus button at the top here, and you're going to type out the word payloads, press create, and we're going to paste that xfinalize file inside of the folder. Then we'll put the SD card back in the 3DS, and we'll power on the system. We're going to go to system settings, go to other settings, we're going to go all the way to the right here, and we're going to do a system update. After the system update, we're going to press the left shoulder button, down and B at the same time to open up this menu. We're going to go down to miscellaneous options, and we're going to select dump DSP for after that's complete, you're going to press B, and you're going to return to this menu here. We're going to select Nullify User Time Offset, and we'll press B three times to exit out of the menu. Then we're going to power off the system, and we're going to power on the system while holding X to boot into God Mode. If it asks you to create an essential backup or to fix the RTC date and time, go ahead and press A for both of those. Then we're going to press the Home button, we're going to go down to Scripts, and we're going to select Finalize. And it's telling me it's going to install all this. I'm going to press A for Yes, and we'll press A to write to SysNand. We're going to punch in this button combo to confirm. And during this process, it's going to make a NAND backup. And after the process is complete, we're going to press A, which will shut down the system. And next, we're going to take the SD card out, and we're going to plug it into a computer. Inside the SD card, we're going to go to the GM9 folder, and we're going to make a copy of this backups, which is where the NAND is going to be, just in case anything ever goes wrong. And after they're backed up, you can delete them off the SD card. Now when we power the 3DS back on, we're going to see all these presents, which contain the homebrew. And now we're modded. Don't forget to like, follow, and share for more.